How's it going and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft survival let's play we're finally in tune with things We're starting to upload more often So hopefully you guys can give me a round of applause in the comment section So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna continue to work on the pumpkin farm But however, we're gonna start working on a kind of like a spooky related cabin That's kind of up on the hilltop next to the pumpkin farm Which will kind of be an area where you can buy pumpkins from uh, If that makes any sense because if you go to a park pumpkin farm you pick them But you also have to go to some place and actually purchase purchase it so I was thinking it would be kind of cool to continue to work on the pumpkin farm and kind of right off that hill where the pumpkins are we're gonna have a small little creepy looking uh, cabin type place that sells pumpkins um, and before we do that we're gonna go ahead and go get some supplies someone actually did mention why don't you go ahead and get supplies in your episode and I figured you know what I might show you guys the storage room which we have in here some of you guys are new viewers as well may have not caught up with the whole entire uh, series if you haven't make sure you go ahead and check out the playlist it's also down below in the description and you can just catch up with all the progress we've done on here But as you can see we have tons of supplies here I mean some of it is kind of barren But we do have some supplies that we definitely pick from on a daily basis So what I want to do is I'm definitely going to take some of the coarse dirt If I still have some left over somewhere around here I place it here, there we go I'm going to take some coarse dirt mainly because it's going to work out really well To make a spooky looking place Definitely going to use some hay bills uh, I'm going to get some bone meal, some more trees Some cobblestone wall, fences um, let's get some vines to make it look a little bit old as well cobwebs and now we're gonna get some supplies I also forgot I do have some leather which we're gonna go ahead and place on our little pumpkin spooky builds over there We did last time um, Kind of like the scarecrow dude looking guy uh, But let's go ahead and see what type of supplies I want to build this cabin and I'm not gonna go with anything vibrant as we have here But brown clay would look kind of nice for this so I'm gonna go with that I'm also gonna take maybe we'll take some oak we already have some oak let's see if we have any darker wood here Let's go ahead and get some spruce stairs and uh, let's go get some slabs as well. Maybe we'll grab, let's see, do we have any frames? We'll take some frames um, and we'll take a few chests and we'll take a few of the trap doors and uh, that should be okay. We'll probably take a fence as well because we do need some fences. And I think upstairs, if I'm not mistaken, I think we have a pretty empty shelving up here. So we're gonna have to fill up this area and then right across here, we kind of have an armor room as you can see, um, which is still very barren. So <laughs> that is something we're gonna have to go on and fix. So if you guys would like to see more of this, don't forget to go ahead and also hit that like button. Thank you again for all the support everyone's left on the last episode. This right here is kind of like the uh, little potion area that we're gonna still develop. Dog adoption center right across there. There. And now to our main area, which everyone is loving so far, is the pumpkin farm. Someone did say we don't need water, and I did realize that, but it's okay for now. It looks kind of good, so we're going to keep it. It's going to work out kind of well for just the theme. So what I want to do right now is I'm going to craft ourselves... Um, I just want to craft some armor so we can put on the scarecrows so it looks kind of decent I, I'm gonna go with actually instead what I'll do is I'll go for a chest plate chest plate looks quite cool uh, To have for for both of our uh, Scarecrows now. I think we can possibly do yeah We can't we can only put boots on one of them or we can just sacrifice all of this and even not a helmet But I'm talking about maybe pants. We'll put one pair of pants on one of them. Why not? Uh, let's go take a look and see how this looks first of all and let's give it a shot. So this one right here is going to have the chest plate. Looks pretty awesome. I think it looks great. Wait, do we have... Yeah, we only have two scarecrows. And we have pants over here. And we have the chest... Let's put... Let's actually... Let's change it up. The pants are actually going to go... Uh, no, we don't want to break them. Uh, the chest plate is going to go on this guy. And the pants will go on this guy. Until we get some more leather in the meantime, we're going to keep it like that. But I think that looks, looks pretty cool. We're going to actually have to add some dye to it to make it look kind of interesting instead of just brown. Uh, but... Now the pathway, where is it going to form? Well, one thing is not going to be anywhere nearby over here. It's actually going to have to go through the to the farm uh, patch area. So it's pretty much going to be a pathway going through here. Um, and as you go through here, you're pretty much going to have to walk up this pathway right about here, which was I was planning to do it right about here. So let's go grab some dirt. Uh, first, actually, I'm going to work on the structure of it. So pretty much the pathway is going to be walking up here like this. I'm going to take down some of the, I guess, some of the seeds around here, some of the grass, tall grasses and dandelions. Let's take them all out. And all right, looks pretty good so far. So yeah, this is gonna be the area. It's gonna be a simple little area where people can go ahead and kind of like purchase their pumpkins. But I want to make it really spooky and kind of abandoned feel to it. So it probably won't be till uh, next episode where we finish this build off. But it's not going to be anything big. It's going to be very small cabin, like similar to the mountain cabin that we have far off in the distance over there. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's figure out how we want to structure this right now. I'm thinking we might actually cut out of some of this dirt here. Or you know what? We're actually gonna 
Let's let's do it right here. Let's put the build a little bit further back so it's flat ground. And that would just make our lives just a tad bit easier. So let's take all those out. There we go. Looking good. So what I'm going to start off by doing is pretty much the basic oak structure. Um, we're just going to go ahead and make our space for this place. Um, something simple like this. Nothing big as well. I'm going to have an open area that you can just kind of like walk out, which you'll see in just a second. Um, this is about the right size, I'd say. Nothing too crazy. Now, out here, we're going to have another area that pretty much people can walk outside from and kind of just uh, pick up anything they need um, from an outside. So it's going to have like one wall open. So you'll see this side will be all open right here. Uh, so now for the flooring, I think we're just going to go with... Let's see how the brown looks. I was thinking of doing something like kind of like interesting looking. And the brown looks kind of decent, a little bit different. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment sections. For now, what I'll do is I will fill in... Um, for the most part, the whole building brown like this with this clay. It does look kind of interesting. Once you add decor around it, I think it would look quite fantastic, to be fair. So I think for now, we're just going to go with the flow and see what you guys think about it. Um, in the meantime, let's continue to work on this. So what I want to do is I'm going to make it one more level higher so that we have some headroom in here. And then we're going to block up and then try to get this done. Now, the roofing is going to be a mess. So that's the one part I'm not looking forward to. If you guys don't know, the roofing stuff, oh, I never I never look forward to those times. Those are always rough. Um, let's go ahead and put, I guess, a door, two doorways here. Maybe two doors or one door in the middle. Let's see. Maybe we can make it even. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, we could put two doors center. It's going to be very small. I actually would rather have a doorway right here. So that way, when you walk in, you kind of have a space here for desks and whatnot. So that, to me, is a better plan. Uh, so let's go with that. Actually, let me think. Should we open this doorway to make it a little bit interesting? Let's try this. Let's go ahead and put uh, some wood over here, some oak wood. Let's get some slabs. Now we're starting in the design area. Let's go figure out how this is going to look. So we could do something like this. Uh, we'll put one back there. We'll get one of the stairs. Let's get one of the stairs here um, and do something simple like that. That's quite nice, actually. We'll have a doorway right there, which I didn't craft one yet. Can I actually craft one real quick? Um, let's see. Can I craft a door? No, wait. Why is it so weird? Like Before, I used to be able to craft doors and have no issues, but now all of a sudden, it's giving me issues. So let's go ahead and just make ourselves another crafting table. Why not? Let's take that out of there, and let's just craft ourselves another crafting table. And we'll just place it right inside for now in this corner, and let's make ourselves some doors. Now, I guess we're going to have to use oak... I guess oak doors would be the go-to for now. Uh, I don't have any other wood on me, so I think that's okay. It looks decent for now. It's kind of the basic door structure, but um, now that I think about it, it would be nice to have a different door, um, but it's okay. We'll go for it for now. You know what? That's that's quite decent. Over here, we'll add some windows, but I'm thinking instead of windows, we're going to have the, uh, the fence gates like I showed you guys in that other episode, which someone actually mentioned, and it was a really cool-looking idea. So if we add over here, I guess we'll just do that. Mm, that looks kind of strange. Let's not work with that. Let's do, let's see, what would look kind of decent here? Um, what would be a decent look for this? I think we definitely should add some fences right about here, just so it breaks in a little bit more look. That looks quite decent. Um, over here, we're also going to add the outdoor area, as I talked about. So it'll have to be around here. This, this, this is a good size. Close it in like this. Um, same with this side right here. We're probably going to add actually the fence doors right here. Two fence doors if we have enough. We should have just about three, which is perfect. So we'll put two right there. Uh, that way we can just walk in and walk out whenever we wish to. Uh, let's go ahead and put those over there. So it's kind of like a little area that you can just walk right out to. Um, I think that looks kind of good too. So now we're going to have to kind of build a roof structure. We have enough slabs, so we're going to work with slabs for this one. Let's go ahead and get some slabs. I'm going to just plant them, place them right at the top. When I say plant, <laughs> we're just going to place them right about there. Um, and we'll just connect all of them together. And then we're just going to, I think we're going to go down one more layer like that. That way it's just an about perfect. Adds a little bit of look to it too. So that to me is quite decent. When you walk out here, looks kind of cool. Looks kind of simple as well. Let's see if we can add a stair right there. Oh, that looks kind of cool. No, not a big fan of that. It doesn't work too well with the front piece. Let's actually take this down. And I want to build it where it looks something similar to the other ones we built, which is pretty much like this. Oh, it's turning night as well. So this is my, I would say, my go-to. It's kind of very simple. Um, we'll do that. Also, 
we should go ahead and get some rest. It is sundown. Uh, but this is looking good. I think from a distance, it actually looks quite decent. Uh, we still have to do a little bit of work to it, obviously. But that's going to probably take until next episode. Let's go ahead and get some rest real quick. There we go. Get that out of the way. So it's a nice, fresh day to start. We don't have any creepers looking around to, to blow up our beautiful bills that we, we try to do <laughs> as quick as possible to get it done, at least in an episode. But uh, we'll see if that's the case for today. Also, let's go ahead and start working on this pathway just a little bit. So I'm going to start placing some random coarse dirt around here. Um, and see how this starts to look. Put one over there, a few over here like this, one right about there. And now we'll start working with this as well, making the pathway look kind of interesting as people walk up to it. So let's fill in the coarse dirt. There it is. Perfect. Put some over there as well. Um, let's open it up. Oh, why did I just put a random door? <laughs> that's not that's not what we want right there. Uh, let's see. What am I missing out? There we go. Put some of that over there. Perfect. Making it look kind of decent. At least for the most part, this is somewhat decent until we can go and add some more stuff to it, some more details. But I'm so far happy with it so far. It's a simple pathway, as you can see. We'll close off that. Put coarse dirt there. Um, and what we can do is we can add some cobblestone walls to kind of incorporate more of a interesting spooky looking structure here where it's kind of like following this pathway um, up to this build right here kind of the little spooky looking cabin, which is not yet creepy enough. So uh, there we go. That's a start right there. And we're going to have to add some glowstone eventually, add some paths. Uh, do we have any more oak leaves? We can definitely kind of wrap around here, kind of give it a little bit of a, a nice kind of cozy walking pathway where it kind of feels like you're closed in. You're surrounded by overgrown stuff, kind of like kind of going over you in a way. That would be kind of interesting to see if we can pull that off. Hmm. We'll see if that's going to be a possibility. Let's see. That looks kind of decent like that. Put some around here. So, yeah, as you're walking up, you kind of feel surrounded by the hedges. And I think that will be kind of something we're going to work on uh, more in the next episode. But so far, it's taken shape. It's a very simple build. But once we add the details, which is what I'm going to do um, and show you guys, you'll see more of the vision for this. And I think you guys will understand exactly what I mean. So we're going to put ourselves – no, wrong area. It's on this side. And I just realized this actually goes here. There it is. So now it's now it's looking good. Now it's even. See? So when we look from this side, it's all even. Very simple. We'll have an area where people can pick out um, pumpkins from here or whatever not. Um, and over here, we're going to have a table similar to the way we designed the uh, previous table kind of uh, office space, which I'll show you right now how we did at the Dog Adoption Center. So if I'm not mistaken, it was something – if I go ahead, I have to place some blocks here. So I believe it was something like this. Let's see. Um – so I feel like the front desk should be somewhere up front here instead. So let's go ahead and move those blocks here. We'll place the stairs right about no, all the way around. It would be upside down. So let's place it like this. Was it this way that I did it? Actually, I can't really remember. I think it was two blocks up. Let's go ahead and see how that was. I think it was two blocks up. And if that's the case, we might actually put the front desk right over here for now. Um, let's see if it was like this. Not that way. That looks like shelving. Um, no, I think, I think it was the other way around. Let me, let me try this again. Let's go ahead and try this one last time. Let's see if we can get this right. Um, I'm thinking where should I put this for now? Maybe it would be fine to have it right about here. There we go. We'll just keep it like this. We'll add ourselves the, fe uh, the, what's it called? The frames. That's decent for now. I don't know how exactly I, I'm trying to remember how I designed it. Oh, it was the other way around. It was this way. Now I remember. How are those still standing? It was this way let's go ahead and replace this so it's pretty much like this so now on top we have the trap doors which i believe i brought with me somewhere there we go so the trap doors go on top like so there we go that's what it was looking like and over here we'll add some frames uh if we have we could put like a hay bill in there and like maybe i'll put like a pumpkin eventually when we go grab some from downstairs but there we go that's the design that's much better now the roof we're gonna work on the next episode if it's done uh by the next episode that means i'll work on it off screen a little bit um and over here i just thought about it we could just do shelving so we could just do some shelving like this um there we go that's kind of simple probably put some not 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 trap doors on the top i meant slabs Go ahead and put some slabs on the top. Let's go for that. Here we go. Simple enough. Just a little bit of a structure. Kind of for like uh, anything we want, really. It could, we could just try to put frames on there instead. And I'm thinking, actually, we'll probably add one more area here for the desk to be a little bit longer. 
like so. Put the frame over here. Let's go find ourselves the frame. Frame will go over there and in the middle, I don't really know what we're gonna do with that. I think we'll just leave it as it is. In the meantime, we could also decorate a little bit and put some cobwebs in here, but we also have to do the flooring. Uh, we're not gonna keep it grass, but as you can see, as you walk in, you have a little section here. Out here, you're gonna have some pumpkins, kind of an area to pick out of. Um, and on the top, we're gonna continue to design it in the next episode because today we're not gonna have enough time to finish it off. But that's kind of the whole kind of deal. This is the main plan. And what we could do is we can quickly take out some of the flooring right now so it's already done for the next episode. There we go. And if you guys have any ideas, please feel free to let me know down below in the comment sections on what I should do for the next episode on this build. What extra structure should I add? Because I feel like you guys have plenty of ideas and it'd be great to just get some feedback and hear what you guys have to say about it. Uh, now I'm looking around, we do have just oak and I don't know if we should work with oak. I don't know, let's go for it for now. Um, that would be okay. Let's just go for it. I think it works. It's kind of adding a little bit of contrast with the darker colors that we're working around, like the brown. So, you know what? It kind of adds a nice open feel to it. But what I will do is, because we said it was a little bit abandoned, uh, I'll kind of like mess around with the floor a bit here. We'll do something like that. Um, I think the corner should actually be just the block. And then in the middle, we'll have, for example, let's put something right about there. We'll take away that grass block. We'll put oak over there. And we'll put a slab in there. So we're adding a little bit of a abandoned type feel to this. And let's do the same with this side here. Over here, we'll do the same as well. We'll add a slab. Perfect. And I'll probably do that right about here too. Why not? We just have to remove this. There we go. Nice. So as you can see, it, it is starting to take shape. I'm quite happy with this. Over here, we can probably add one of the... Uh, gates here for like a window as you can see those are like uh, the really cool looking window designs that we figured out in one of the episodes someone actually told me about it and it looks really really cool cool so check that out not too bad at all uh, one thing I do want to add though is kind of some more details to this side as you can see it's kind of lacking it um, and what I want to do is probably just add some vines around here Could probably do that actually growing over um, we can even add some oak there we go that oh that looks actually quite decent Kind of looks a little bit overgrown. We'll probably add some more around here. Here we go. Could probably do this as well in this corner. Wait, let's take that off. There we go. And wrap around here a little bit. Probably put some coarse dirt in here if we can fit it right there. Perfect. You know what? That doesn't look too bad. I think that looks kind of cool. Looks a little bit overgrown. Um, and I don't mind that at all. I kind of like that. So we'll probably add some more details to it. But for the meantime, if we go down here and end off today's episode, if you look from here while it's turning night, you can't really get a visual. But once we have the roof, you'll see it'll look kind of kind of cool. Oh, I hear some some mobs. But the pathway leads up here. So you pick out your pumpkin if you want, and you walk up here. And you kind of just pay for it as you go here. We'll add the roof. It'll look kind of simple. You'll see how it's going to look. It's going to be a simple structure. And then when you walk in, you can pay for it, kind of do what you want. And then you walk right out. And then we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do on this side. But I think it looks quite awesome. Uh, we definitely have to add some cobwebs around here, which we can do right now. We can add a little bit of cobwebs kind of just hanging around here. Uh, we'll probably even put one in there. That looks kind of decent. So yeah, just a little bit of cobwebs goes a long way just to add some detail to this. Oh, some hay bales too. That's one of the things we should have added right here. Let's go ahead and put that like that. That looks kind of good. There we go. A little bit of details. There we go. And we'll take one pumpkin to finish this off, place it inside there. And the next episode, we are going to finish off this project. Hopefully, it'll be something that's going to be well worth your wait for. Probably put the... Oh, I wish we could put the pumpkin on top of this. That would have been cool. I wonder, you know what? We could probably even put one of our famous arm st ar ar armor stands or scarecrows right about here. Let's actually see if we could put them in here. Uh, we have to take out this cobweb, though. We could use our sword for it. There we go. Uh, if we put them in here, that would look kind of cool. Just have them just chilling over there. That looks spooky. I like that a lot. That I like a lot. So that right there just changed the whole entire look for it because it covers off this kind of plain wall. And uh, it looks like this window gives a little bit of character as well to it. We can even add, if we really like to, um, where is it? One of the... Uh, trap doors right there and that I think looks fantastic. I'm really happy with that. I'm pleased with this design so far uh, Let's see anything else before we end off today's episode. We can maybe add ourselves a uh, Trap door right over there and same with that trap door there 
perfect. So next episode, prepare for more. We're going to be doing a lot of extra detailing to this place, but so far it's looking good. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe as well. And if you're part of notification squad, don't forget to let me know down below in the comment sections by saying hashtag notification squad. And if you're not, make sure you do hit that bell button next to subscribe button and you should be all set and get notifications. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching today's episode. My name is Alex and peace out and stay foxy.